Oh, hi viewers! Welcome back to the World of Final Fantasy, where in the last part I got into a battle with these little Moogle Pirate dudes. Uh, they got a name which, God help me, I'm not gonna pronounce it. My, my, my brain can't comprehend pronunciation with this. So you can read it. That's fine. I digress. The point is, we yeah, this is a battle that, you know, I gotta go do the thing, so let's figure out how to capture it if you want one. Uh, as you can see, inflict berserk. Everyone got that? Great. The problem with it is, it's a prevalent theme in this battle, but I'll get into that in a second, because, you know, we gotta talk about an ideal situation when you're here. And that is multi-targeting. Offense, anything. I don't know. If you have something that can multi-target enemies, it's highly advised that you use it here. Unfortunately, my champion medals will not help me. Well, they'll help me, but they'll only target one of these guys, and that's fine, but not ideal. Except Refia, but her ability is just, you know, uh, support, so... Having support is great, but it's not helping me in the sense of offense. So, aside from that, I just gotta do this old school one on one by one. Uh, which is not ideal at all, because, I mean, there's six of them, and... The problem with that is, basically, because my guys are stacked, and while well, that's cool and all... Uh, the longer this progresses, the higher chance they have at unstacking our dudes. And that's not ideal at all, because, you know... Unstacking us stuns us and it makes things a lot more difficult and uh, The other problem to this is this Koopar uh, so basically As you can see it's basically multi-targets all of our party and inflicts berserk And it has a chance of doing just what it did which unstacks everyone not good in the slightest not at all I might be in trouble. I might really be in trouble. Oh no. I I I got lucky. I got oh my god, I got lucky. Okay. Uh Mega Phoenix is a great emergency situation. You see, when you're really needy and you're in super trouble, it may just get you out of a bad situation where everyone's dying and you are potentially game over. And, to be fair, I've been in worse situations in these JRPGs, the little turn-based games, but, you know, not important at the moment. What's important is I, I'm, I'm alright, I worked myself out. I gotta distract myself by talking about something else. So, uh, oh, this battle. There's something else to it. So, these are rare mirages, and usually when you encounter rare mirages, you get a different battle theme playing. Not that I hate the normal battle theme, on the contrary, I kind of dig it. It's it's all magical and mystifying, and, and I don't know, I, I, it's just, it feels good. It feels good. It feels alright. I can get behind it. But, the thing is, when you encounter a rare mirage, you know, you generally have a remix of a Final Fantasy IX battle track. Anyways, my point is, there's a track, it's called Hunter's Chance. And I remember it because, you know, I played the 9 and I did the thing and then, you know, I remember that track. It was pretty alright. I only played at one part of the game, but at the same time, you know, it was, it was alright. It was, it was good. And so, for the Rare Mirages, you know, they remixed it and that's what's plays. Uh, it played for, like, the Holy Dragon. It played for the Magic Jar. Um, my mind can't remember any other situations, but I'm sure it's played before. Uh, Black Choco Chick. That's right. At least I think it down. I'm gonna have to relook that. You know what? Doesn't matter. Point is, uh, that's not playing no now, and I figure it would. Mainly because this is the, this is pretty similar in every situation. I mean, it's a side evolution of the Moogle, or it's a, it's an alternate form of it. In fact, it's so alternate that you actually have to do that to get the memento, so you can actually, uh, like, turn your Moogle into that. So, I don't know. Point is, I would have figured it would have been that remix track, but I guess not. Uh, I, I guess all I can do is just move on with my life, right? So, anyways, other than that, uh, last time, 
I expose how much I don't know Final Fantasy V. Also, I have I have the requirements to do this. Get out of my way, Gimme Golem. But yeah, so Final Fantasy V, uh, Gilgamesh's theme. It's not Battle on bi the Big Bridge. Uh, Cause you know I thought it was, but it turns out I was only half right. Uh, that that's not exactly his theme, although they did remix his theme and name it that right, in 12. That's the track that you can go look up and see. It's 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 the theme that he uses in 12. And also, I think they reuse in like 13 too, but his real theme is actually called Clash on the Big Bridge. All right, Victory. Yeah. I did, I, I fucked that up, I apologize, you know, my bad, I don't know all the Final Fantasy, I choose to think I know things about it, but I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to Final Fantasy, but I did have to address that because it was like, man, I think I got that right, but then the skepticism in me was just like, no, you fucked it up, and lo and behold, I did it, I did just that. Yeah, so Clash on the Big Bridge. That is actually Gilgamesh's theme. I'm really starting to get sick of all this cold. Maybe you should have thought of that before you came up with this plan. Yeah, Lon. Nobody ever said anything about having to fight past all these stupid mirages. Oh, well, I did read that cold weather helps keep you focused, so I guess it's not all that bad. See, shivering uses less energy than a... Oh, man, do I just love the cold. Well, come on, come on, no time like the present. But it's odd, you see. I have the Warlock Warmer, so why should I be cold? I mean, for all intents and purposes, I should be warm. In fact, I, sh I should be toasty, I should be fine. I mean, that was a thing they did back in uh, the Icicle Ridge place. You know, we made a whole big deal of that, went to the Solace, talked to Sherlotta. She was like, here, take the warmers. Yeah, it's fine. So bad. You, you can have the warlock warmers. Normally, I'd charge a small fortune for it. But here you go. She was nice. But my problem is, you know, you figure that's that's not like... That's, that's something they would be like, it's not an issue. But here, it's like... Uh, Lon's cold. Why is he cold? Don't we have the warlock warmers? Isn't it something in our inventory? We made a deal. They made a small deal. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Point is, you get what I'm trying to say? Uh, the other thing that I have to address here, because, you know, it's, it's something. Uh, I talked about this in the last part, you know, switch conditions, raising water. If I didn't talk about it, well, see, we gotta raise the water. It, it's just a small little uh, mechanic we got in this area. It, it's not limited to just this, but it is something that we'll have to toy around with. It's not as annoying as it sounds, but at the same time, I mean, it, it's it's something I've experienced in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, specifically, the Water Temple. That was pretty annoying. I know a lot of people lament over that. It took me five years to beat that temple, but I digress. Point is, I'll only have to do it twice. Three times if I really fuck up, but I mean, I don't think I will. I think I got this in the bag, you know. It's just it's just as simple as, like, collect an item because we got a gimme golem. It's in the background. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you're not looking where I'm looking, but hey. Point is, this chest, it has a swirl shell. You get the swirl shell, and then you can lower the water, get access to the little pathway to that, and then you move on with your life. Also, New Mirage. Have I talked about this? Because, um, I, I, I don't think I have. I mean, I think this is the first time we're encountering it, but this is a dual lizard, as as noted by the, um, the stack title name place. You, you got it, you got it. Uh, dual lizards aren't too bad, but the problem is I can't really get the exact specifications because it's in the stack, and much like in Pokemon, like, I think in, you know, I want to say 5th gen, maybe 6th gen, it doesn't matter. Point is, when you have multi-battles and you're encountering wild Pokemon in masses, well, you couldn't yeah. capture, like, you couldn't capture them. You had to eliminate it into, like, you know, one Pokemon in that whole entire group. Kind of painful, if you ask me, but point is, uh, yeah, you couldn't capture, like, 
you, ha you had to eliminate it and lower the specifications. Now, what I'm trying to get at is when you encounter a stack, you have to unstack them. There's abilities that help with that, but for the most part, it's just basically healing and then, you know, like, uh, constantly keep attacking them until, you know, they just unstack. It happens, and you have to have a lot of patience. It's super annoying. I'm not going to deal with it too much. But my point is, if you want to do a lizard, I, it, it's not too bad. It's kind of cool. It has some pretty awesome evolutions that we'll be encountering later when the time comes. But until then... I gotta lower the water. I gotta press the switch, and here we go. Now I have access to the pirate ship. The one where the save crystal is in front of. The one where the gimme golem is guarding. It's leading up to that. It's all been leading up to that. It's something that we all want. It's something we all need. But I have a question. Why can't I go for the other ships? I mean, they seem unguarded and just as good. They seem like less work, to be honest. What, are they irreparable? How do you know? We haven't made any notes of it. I mean, sure, they're going on with, like, you know, lawn being cold and, you know, ignoring the fact that we got those warlock warmers, which far be it for me to question the fact that, you know, why is that a thing when it shouldn't be? But the other thing is, hey, there's ships all about. Why not take one of those? I don't have any clue that they're not good ships or something like that. You haven't really made any notes about it. I figure you'd go to the ship and be like, hey, this is a ship, it seems very viable, and then, you know, Rain would be like, no, Lon, it has, it, it's in terrible shape, it'll never make the trip. You know, something along those, just a little footnote. I don't know, something to verify that these other ships are not good. We need to have this one because this it's... This must be it, the pirate ship. Yeah, I don't think there's any debate about that. Let's be the sneaky. Well, that's another question. How do we know the other ships weren't? Ugh, I, I, I digress. I could go on all day, but it's not going to help me in the slightest because the point is we did the thing. We got to save. We got to trigger the cutscene because you know it's going to happen. You know plot's about to go. I got to be quiet. You know, I can rant all day about all the plot holes that we got going on. And there's a couple that I'm seeing right now. You know, the bullshit alarm in my brain is just kind of going off. And it's like, why? Why, why, why? But, I digress. You know, I gotta calm down a little bit. I gotta go onto the pirate ship. Because they assume this is the pirate ship. I gotta go over here. Uh, you can explore it a little bit. You know, it's still a pretty small ship. But the real objective is the steering wheel. I think we've got this one in the bag. Yeah. A basket, Koopa. Not so fast, Koopa. <laughs> Saving pirates, Koopa. Huh? The pirates? Did they just call us pirates? Uh, well, I'd say the pot knows a kettle when it sees it. Hey. Koopa! All pots on deck, Koopa. Uh, uh, oh. We're outnumbered, Koopa. Now what, Koopa? Stop saying Koopa and fight, Koopa. Whoops. Uh. Huh? There's only one thing to do now, Koopo. Get him to Koopo! Guys, we're not here to have fun. And... And... We're not here to have fun, Koopo. Better. Much the better. Oh, Koopo. Not this battle again. <laughs> well, to be fair, everybody, I this battle this. doesn't involve Berserk. But on the other hand... Uh, you can't imprison them, so I mean, you're, you're SOL if that was your, if that was your goal. Also, I, I, I think I'm Koopoed out, but I digress, you know. I got, I gotta deal with it. I got this battle. And after it, I think I'm gonna end the part, you know, cause I, I like to begin and end the video the same way. It just went full circle. Also, they're, they're incredibly easy in comparison to the last battle at the beginning of the video. No Berserk, no challenge whatsoever. Just gotta attack them once and they go down like little bitches. Ah, oh, that was fantastic. Anyways, I'm gonna end the part off here. Next time, more plot. Expect it.